Hi there everyone, welcome back again to iPad Essential. In this video, as you know, we are testing iPad OS 26 from quite a while. And one prominent change we saw in case of iPad OS 26 is how much better now it became when it comes to mimicking the full desktop like experience. And the cursor play a very important part to it. So here you can see now our circle or ring now being replaced by the arrow. And the good thing about this arrow is, let's say you have a white background, the arrow will be represented as black, but as soon as you're gonna take it to the darker side, you can see the arrow is now converted to white. Not only that, the responsiveness of the cursor is also improved. And maybe if you have a question how I am using cursor, well, I have connected my iPad to this Logitech mouse and this Logitech keyboard. That's how you're gonna get desktop-like experience with iPad Pro. So now let's talk about more customization that is available for this cursor. And for that, we simply can go here in settings. And here, I mean, by opening the setting, now you will realize that this is iPad. I mean, if I hide my iPad and uh, I only keep this screen, sometimes it would be really difficult until and unless I open certain these kind of element that kind of remind that, oh, this is iPad, not the Macintosh. Okay, so in setting, we need to go to accessibility. And then when we go down here, uh, you will see option of pointer control. So let's click on it. And now here you're gonna see some of option to further customize it. For example, here the pointer size, as we increase the value of it, you will see increased a lot. So in this way, you can control pointer size. Then let's say you do not like this particular color, you would like to go with some other. You have option to choose from. So you can choose blue, red, green, and so on. And this particular thing actually let you add a boundary to it. But honestly, I don't like boundaries. I'm gonna click on none. And now you're not going to see any boundary to it. Now, uh, here we have got some further tweaks. For example, uh, pointer animation, uh, which kind of allow pointer to animate or change its shape based on the element where we are working. For example, uh, let me open Microsoft Word. Hope I have installed it. And probably I can open this document. Now here you will see the mouse pointer now converted to this cursor. And look at the speed with which it moves. I would say it is quite nice. And uh, you know, we can go full screen as you know, this is again the power of iPad OS 26. Now let me close this. Uh, so in this way, I just wanted to show you how you know this pointer animation work. Now there is one more thing which is scrolling speed. So what will this do is whenever you scroll, uh, for example, page or here what I'm doing, uh, you know, with the help of it, you can control the speed of it. So if I make it very slow, so now I am really scrolling my mouse wheel a lot to make minor change. Now let me make it full speed uh, because this is what I generally like. And this is how you can quickly scroll your entire page. So I would say this is more helpful when you are surfing web. That time, if you really want to scroll or want to go in the bottom of the page and the page is too long, it would be helpful. Now, let's go back. I'm gonna also talk about more settings apart from these that is available for mouse pointer. And really, I like this little bit of larger size mouse pointer. This kind of give illusion that, you know, the mouse pointer is not that slow. Now, uh, let me quickly go down here and let's look for the trackpad and mouse setting. Here, you're gonna see a few more settings. For example, uh, setting up your tracking speed. So if you slow it down, now your mouse will move really slow. So for me, I think the ideal setting will be somewhere like this. And here we also have got option of, you know, natural scrolling, which is to define the direction of the scroll. So if I turn it off, then the direction of scroll will be opposite. So it is more of, you know, whether you want Windows like scroll or you want Apple like scroll. So I would say a great thing to be added 
then here we have got option what does the mouse secondary click or right hand click will do so here you can define it you can make it left or right uh, totally up to you so i still think that these settings are not enough and time will tell what kind of setting will be upgraded or updated here so still in terms of mouse cursor i think the experience certainly or definitely improved but still i think it will take some time to reach the desktop like experience in terms of mouse cursor and the reason why i am saying is uh, still there is a lag uh, you may say that oh you are using bluetooth mouse but this is not the reason you will see lag also in case of when you are using wired mouse and yes, when you only will use your iPad, that time the lag will be less. Some other small quirks here you can see. When I try to, you know, shake my mouse inside my iPad here, you can see how the cursor is becoming big. Here, uh, when I try to do the same, the cursor is not growing up. So these are some of small things here and there that are still missing. So in the end, I would like to say definitely this is step up and I would say in right direction. When we talk about, you know, improving the mouse cursor experience inside iPad OS 26, much better than the iPad OS 18. But still I would say it needs to further go 10% more to reach desktop like experience. I hope guys you find this video helpful and informational. Please do let me know if you have got any comment or feedback regarding how our mouse cursor perform in case of iPad as well as external display. Also do subscribe to iPad Essential as we keep on bringing iPad productivity related topics in this channel helping you to elevate your iPad productivity. And I will see you soon in one such another video. Till then you take care and bye bye.